User flow is not to be confused with user journey. If you're new to UI UX design, welcome. There are a lot of terms to be learned and we're gonna learn together on this channel. So here are the definitions. A user flow is a visual that includes all the various interactions that users should have on your site. Whereas for user journey, a user flow is just part of the user journey. The user journey looks at the entire journey of the user from start to end, even if the start is outside of your site and the end is outside of your site as well. To make it a bit more clear, here's an example. So a user user journey begins when a user notices her earphones falling apart. It also includes her sadness and depression because maybe it was really important to her. She decides that she wants to get new earphones and this leads her to an online shopping website. Now the user flow on the site begins. The user flow includes all the actions and pages that the user explores on the site from browsing to checking out and the user flow ends when the user leaves the site. A user journey could include the user's emotions and thoughts whereas for user flow it's more of the actions taken on the site itself. The user flow also includes all the logical and computational conditions. You'll see what I mean in a bit. One important principle about UI UX design is that the more research and the more concrete and clear things are at the start, especially in the initial phases of ideating and gathering requirements and understanding the project, the less headache you'll have later on when you actually start designing things. You'll have a clearer understanding of what pages you need to design and it also helps the development team because they'll know the logic of your designs and the conditions that they need to account for. There are different tools you could use, good old pen and paper, even PowerPoint. There are also online tools like Lucidchart, which is really popular for different diagrams and models. But in this video, I'll be using FigJam just because I use Figma so much. Anyway, let's get started.
Mm-hmm.